Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to extend our previous example and we are trying to build this particular card okay and with some text like your profile your portfolio okay i mean we are just trying to learn how to use styles of tailwind okay we already have a setup of tailwind and now we are trying to build some components around it so i will create a components folder and here we will put all the components like i can see that we need some card component then we can have all these components i will uh, split them so first is a card component then another component can be on the about component about footer and you can say the skills you can see here uh, these are my skills this is about component and this is my card component so i will split all these things into those set of components and then we will write code for them card about and there is a skills card about uh, skills.js and there is a footer also i mean we can create a simple footer sticky footer and then we will import all these things inside our parent component so all these things can be combined into app.js okay now we can remove this example which we were talking and here we can import our all these four components okay so what we are going to do here is we have app.ts here we are importing all our components right so we can simply import all those components here and put the jsx tags so what we will do here is we will import all these things all the components inside app.ts right let's say i'm importing about so similarly ta -ta 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 -ta, let me just copy these things call import about from there is a components about so there is a components folder and then there is about dot js similarly we need uh, three more components card about footer and skills card skills and footer that's it now we can just arrange these things together okay now this is the jsx we are writing this is the layout we, we need and in this layout you can see it's not covering the whole width and this is the whole body right so let's start adding the div and start adding the classes provided by tailwind okay so class name will be we can just say okay padding vertical 10 pixel and we can also we also need to set up the colors okay for the setting of the colors we can actually go to our uh, tailwind config.js because now we are going to decide the color palettes for the application right and there this is how we can do it go to your tailwind config and here we can just define all different set of palettes for all these colors i just copy those palettes from my project or from tailwind config global config okay so let's say I want to keep this blue color and the white color rest all I will use so inside the colors array we can create these color palettes we can see what what we have done is now you can just define all these colors colors uh, what we can do is gray 100 gray 200 all these things and now when you are writing the your code you can specify which color you want so like currently what we are doing we are writing app.js right which is the parent component where we are importing all the header footer card and all here we are going to use this particular uh, a particular color like uh, the gray 200 so what we can do is bg grade 100 
so I, what I used is BZ is the prefix and grey is the color and 100 is the palette we have defined right BZ grey 100 and you can also add something like uh, for small screen padding on the vertical axis uh, horizontal axis is 5 pixel and min edge screen this is the minimum width okay and now we can import our all the components here so first of all I want to show the card then I wanted to show the about component then I will show the skills finally footer okay all the components are here and why it is complaining so we got all the components right now we need to define each and every component let's start with the card component and there we will see the the classes which we will be getting from the tailwind okay so the card component we can actually copy the same stuff about uh, about react here inside the card component we'll just replace this app with card we don't need to import all these things import react from react okay now inside card component so if you see this is how our card looks like uh, so it's like a div with a rounded shape with the shadow all these things and margin auto because it's a center aligned and all these components inside it you can see this if you consider this is a flex then what is what it is this, these are flex uh, flex direction is column because this is the first element second element and third element so how the flex elements are aligned in the vertical row so it can be a flex flex column justify center right? because all the divs are centrally aligned and then we can also do okay for the medium screen shadow is there and rounded and uh, margin auto so that everything will be centrally aligned inside a card so let's start adding the card component so inside this now we are inside a card component right so we can just first of all we will say okay you can consume the full width and then we will just define our child component <coughs> do class name so here you see we can use the flex right so to add it is a flex and flex would be of type column flex column justify center and then all the other things is like uh, margin auto mx auto there can be a shadow on the excel and rounded excel okay this is our div here now we will see one by one what what will be the impact of this if i have added this particular thing okay so currently we have a card component i can just put some empty content inside all the other components so they don't break and this is my about component so i need to change this i mean you can also put any random name because we are doing default export not named export okay and our application should start working we can just check the 3000 port because initially there is nothing to see now let's try to see inspect and see all these classes which we have applied go to the desktop mode it takes a little bit of time okay this is my body I mean this is my root and here you can see I put padding y on the vertical axis 10 pixel right py 10 not 10 pixel it's a padding padding vertical 10 so it applied padding uh, top and padding bottom similarly if, similarly if you apply px then it will apply on the horizontal screen it is sm not dm 
Now coming to this, here what we are saying is this card is covering all the full width. Okay, and then we decided to use the flex. And now inside this, we will put our comp component. You can see we applied flex. Flex means display flex, flex direction column, justify content center, and MX out auto. What it means? It will try to put the margin left and right equals like margin left and right auto. It means if whatever the you put that will centrally aligned automatically and then we have the shadow shadow excel right so that will get applied here okay now let's put the content inside it so what do we have inside this uh, let's go to our code and try to see this so go to the card component okay here we have first image inside this card whatever we have created first we need to put image and then we will see what all classes we can apply so image uh, image tag src we will put src link here I am going little slow because we need to add the classes, we need to decide the classes, whatever we can apply. Okay, source here is, let me get the image link. I can get it from my GitHub profile, my own profile. And now, image tag has been closed. What else is not closed? Okay, things are good. Now we'll apply the styles here on the card component like we put the image now what all styles we can add so first of all height width right by default like what should be the height and width of this particular image inside a card so we said width maximum is 32 max auto max auto so it will be centrally aligned and then we can just say is rounded because we want rounded full rounded full that's it so let's see because it's a set the width margin auto so it will be centrally aligned and margin full okay let's reload this yes whatever you want we are close to that okay now we just need to put some labels so this is the image and now we can create another tag another div and we can use another classes like tests uh, text center because now the rest all things is some text we need to add and text is little bit bold and in the big size so we can use text excel classes so and we can also do some margin so we can use these uh, helper classes margin top margin bottom all these classes and instead of image here we are going to use paragraph tag because we have to put something inside a text. So here also we need to use the classes and now we need to decide the text color and all. We don't need to write any styles for it. We can use the tailwind only. So what we are saying is uh, uh, font size is text Excel. For the small screen we can say text to Excel. Just an example like how you can make it little more responsive and font is semi bold and then text what should be the text color so like bz blue we were doing right so similarly text gray and we have the palette right so we can specify text gray 900 and the font is semi bold and here you can put your username so username is TK Sharma and then there is a, another P tag that P tag looks little different here if you see the only difference is the font size is little lower it's not bold right so we can just copy this thing and we can change something so this text is small okay and text gray can be 600 not 900 width is auto what else we can add our text gray padding top we can add pt 
to padding top means the, from the padding to the top and padding to the bottom PV4 and there can be a border border bottom too because you can see there is a border right border bottom and the styling for this particular text so all these classes are available we don't need to even write anything what is the text color what is the padding top what is the padding bottom and what is the padding horizontally so it's like px5 we can use directly padding horizontally with auto yeah we are not specifying any particular width border bottom okay now let's see this one yes uh, this looks like similar we need can increase the the font size and all for this this is semi bold okay now we need to work on this particular card item right so we are using the classes and now we need to specify we need to see how we can put this particular card which has a shadow also right so what is the problem here why the shadow is not getting applied because this is our card i think widthful is the problem or what we can use widthful is the when it is taking the whole width this is the widthful and here we can should i make it width 48 or some fixed width width 48 and margin auto mx auto and then mx auto then i also need to specify some border let's say uh, border we can apply border the pixel is it applied no border with two pixel it's not getting applied okay so let's see this closely uh, one by one so this is our app.js let's open app.js that is the root one and here we are saying is uh, inside app.js is building by background and we can also put minimum height of screen is 100 vh I mean at screen that we just put 100 vh and then we are going into the card component okay inside card component uh, there are a lot of things are happening inside card component first of all we put the width 100 width full then flex flex column justify center here also we need to specify the max width this card component is going to have right so that is applied using max w and there are these are the options so we can just choose extra small that will set some max width to particular this div and then we also need to specify the background because background is gray and here we are putting background white rounded uh, this should be rounded and I can I can see that this is a rounded one only and padding we can specify the padding as 5 so it will have padding from everywhere 5 pixel and this looks uh, nice now because it is centrally aligned with the uh, max width padding is applied right now we can see the text is also applied we don't have the font family right now so we just we will go ahead with that now next thing we can see is we need to specify the different social links and all right so that we can do we can create a flex container for that so inside this div after this div we can create one another div So inside this we can after this paragraph we can create another div so this is all html css i'm just because this is the demo and we need to talk about all these aspects so class name right so here i will say the flex because we are going to show all the the links align center
align center justify center and margin top is 4 and inside this we are going to have all the social links if I talk about I'm talking about these four links margin top I have given that this can be a flex container justify center right align item center okay now these can be a simple anchor links <coughs> let's put href we need to get the icon from somewhere okay then we have class name okay these there will be four icons with the same uh, theme okay now uh, what we are doing inside this anchor tag there is a span tag and then there is an icon you can see here there is a github right so let's add that github and the icon so we will get the icon from somewhere we will figure that out first of all define the classes for it text excel margin 1 padding 1 for the small margin will be 2 for the small padding will be 2 okay and we can specify the color text gray 800 now there is a hover effect we want to do so how to apply the hover effects in the tailwind whenever you do hover onto this div i just want to change the color bz gray 800 from text gray so background will also become uh, gray for this rounded full whenever you do the hover this is semicolon and then text will become white so text and the class names and the colors you have specified bg and the color palette you have specified right and the hover effect whenever you do the hover so this is how you can actually play with this and other things you can also put transition i mean there are some custom animations you can put transition so whenever there is a color change it will take duration 300 milliseconds for the transitioning the the color and here we can put some icon <coughs> so if we try to see this i will copy three times or four times <coughs> so now instead of this we will put the icon but the concept is clear the display is flex text align center justify center margin top four and all these things they have the margin and padding and when you go to the small screen they will have the margin padding too okay so this is the small card component we had right if you look at the card component this is how it was designed i will just get the, the images and the icons from some library and i will put it we can use some react icons we need to install the module for them npm install minus minus save react icons and then we can use those react icons in our project like inside the card we need to import all those icons so i can get all those icons from react icons like github dribble twitter and all just hide this terminal and import all the icons same as the other imports and then i can specify these icons here let's say github what i need to do instead of icon i can simply say use this github icon right same for others like uh, i will just use the twitter yes you can see the effect so all the i all the icons are restored and we can also see the effects okay now rest all the components like about about will be a little bit simple what we need to do here is inside about component it's just the text right so 
I will just put the classes, respective classes. First of all, it is going to be text center. And what, can, what will be the max width? Max width is, let's say, I can just put 4 Excel. 4 XL, that is a width. And margin auto, MX auto, margin top also we need to add, which is 16. And then we can, we just need to highlight one particular label, right? So the class name, here also put the class name. And we need to show one bold my background, right? So what we need to do is, what should be the, how the text should look like? 2XL, okay, for medium, it will be text will be 4 Excel. So this is how we specify that on the medium screen show the text in the 4 Excel. On the on the other screen text will be 2 Excel and font will be bold. And then text center. That's it and you can specify whatever you want to add. So you can see we the hand haven't added any styles for it. Everything the, the font size, font weight, font alignment, everything is covered. Text to Excel, why it is not applying, the, the width of this, the class name my background, let me just search it. Text to Excel, and for medium it is 4 Excel, font bold, okay, so is it about my tailwind configuration not specifying the, the width for because it should be 2xl right 2xl is like okay it should be a bigger text so let's go to our tailwind configuration do we need to specify all these things like how we should take the 2xl 3xl first of all we already covered the breakpoints small medium large extra large okay and the colors with different palettes also here which is common and standard right font size extra small text excess text sm text base text large text excel text to excel so all these styles will be applied for that you can also apply the font weight like text normal text medium text semi bold i will also add the font weight for this so what you can do is text thin text semi bold so it will apply the font weight 600 text bold okay so you can keep adding whatever you need uh, similarly you can also add a text line height text line type and all these things i will add only these three things and proceed further these are from the master uh, tailwind con okay now background is coming as expected right because uh, whatever the styles I applied, text uh, to Excel, I was not specifying what to Excel, Excel means. And now text to Excel means text to Excel. That means the font size is 1.5 REM. Okay. Okay, so this is how our background looks like. What we did is uh, finally in this code about.js the, the bottom portion was just a text like text base, text left and for the MD text is center. This is the color and margin top is 4. Now let's talk about the skills. And here you can see the skills are like uh, three boxes. You can think about okay it's a display flex, uh, justify content center and then again inside this particular div it can be a flex with the uh, column uh, this flex direction as a column and it has the border and the rounded right and justify content center text line center and this is the margin auto and each and every box has the fixed width right and the outer width is also fixed and then we can put a margin auto so all the three boxes will be centrally aligned okay let's do this so inside this div first of all add the class name we can add a flex, so display flex, flex column. 
okay so here it is important for default it's a flex column but for small screen it is flex row that here you can actually de define the flex direction different different for different dimensions for the small it will be flex row and then we can just say align center align center justify center and then max width for this can be to excel margin auto and margin top is 8 okay all the classes clear and inside this we are going to create uh, the first container first box skill box right so it will be margin let's say 4 width is 40 that we can decide flex none margin auto text is always center rounded excel border is also there so border 2 and border color can be gray 300 so here you can see how the border color applied we are doing the same like bz text gray 300 border gray 300 bg gray 300 similarly like this is a border so this is a two pixel solid and the color is 300 gray rounded excel and uh, this will be our first div so the div content will be like say hello and then we will see if it is fitting our stuff or not okay this is the first div inside the flex container second and third I'm just going slow because I wanted to explain all the classes I'm using okay so similarly there will be a three different containers and if you see the output how it looks like right now okay these are my flex container so inside flex I do have so this is my whole flex it is divided into three parts flex direction row justify content center I think the max width is not applied properly max w it should be w right then not max 2 to excel oh that's good right so we missed one class it should be max width to excel and then individually we are applying this width for all the three containers inside the flex now it looks little nicer here we can see there are three divs and now these divs can be boxes right and we put the border also border i don't see we can put background also so bg you can simply say white so background applied on the first one you can see the bg white and we also need to put the height and width for these so we can put all the content so it is uh, width is 40 flex none margin auto text center rounded excel right inside this we are going to have a text okay so let's get some more icons because we need to show the icons inside these what we are going to add is this and one p tag with the text So the text is fronted first we will design the first box and we will see how it is designed and then here we can see all the classes for the box margin top text large because the text is large and for this uh, this particular icon there is icon also and the icon will be the little bit large text for excel and all our margin auto because we are going to centralize it in line block okay let's see this font semi bold margin top 4 text excel i'm just looking at sometimes documentation and then copying the classes here so now let's see maybe i missed something fronted okay 
Now you, we can see a little bit cleaner, right? So this is the first div. Inside this div, we do have the image and we have the font. And this displays in line block. This you can see the height. Text align is center. There is a border class. I don't know if the border is applied or not. Text uh, gray. Okay, border gray. Let's see the tailwind CSS. Gray 400, it's not visible. Gray 700, let's do it. So this is border gray, let's say 800. Border is two pixel rounded. Uh, width is this. Inline block. Okay. Looks like busy white is not there. We can add one more class like busy. Why? I don't know. There was configuration mismatch. Now the border is coming is as expected. Like we what we did is border two, so it will apply border two pixel. This is the border color and this is the background. And you can see padding four width is fixed for all the tables. And this is the flex container, right? Now uh, we can also check the responsiveness for this one. Okay, let's say I'm inside iPad Pro. This is fine. This is also fine. Here you can see for the small screen, we can just put some padding top, uh, margin top, empty top for the small screen, right? Text looks fine. Text is left aligned, but for small screen, text should be aligned center. I'm talking about this thing inside background. We do have text left and MD text center. So for all the screens, the text is left and for the medium, it is text is center. I'm not sure I always like text center. So we can just apply text center to everywhere, right? Text is center. And then this image, it's obviously, it's already a responsive, but whatever the screen you choose. Okay, so this is like a simple example, how we are creating, how we are using the Tailwind styles and how we are populating the configurations and the Tailwind. Whatever the breakpoints we are using, same breakpoints we can use in the application. Okay. So uh, that is just a demo part like uh, how we can create a small app and how we can use uh, different Tailwind classes. Okay, how to configure the Tailwind that I have already covered in the first video with the React app or React TypeScript app and then you can start using the Tailwind styles right away. You don't need to write even a single styles like style.css, you add style.css, you add and start writing your uh, styles inside it either inline or use post CSS or something else. But if you use Tailwind, like you don't need to worry about anything else. I just created an index.css, put all the Tailwind utilities components base, and then we are importing this in our components, main component. Okay, so this is all about the simple demo on the Tailwind. Thanks everyone, thanks for watching. And I will add the, the link for this GitHub also, so you can check out.